Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. So after weeks of collaboration with Libretro, we have the first officially released Libretro core for the classic systems. So huge thank you to Gabri and Swingflip for getting together and getting this running on these systems. This is Easy RPG, which is an RPG Maker core. From my testing, I was able to play RPG Maker 2000, 2003, and Sukuru. 2000 and 2003 games. You can find a lot of these games on RPGMaker.net. Well, let's get started. The first thing you need to do is hack your classic system. I'll have a video tutorial in my description for you to follow to do that. Next step is to install the core to your system. So to do that, go to the modules tab and to the mod store. Go to the RetroArch tab and install the newest version of RetroArch Neo. Just hit the button right here. It says download module. It will add that to HackGCE for you. At the time of filming this video, the Easy RPG Core wasn't in the mod store, but by the time this video is released, you will just be able to go to the RetroArch Cores tab, navigate through the list here, and find the Easy RPG Core. Once again, hit the download module button and it'll be added to HackGC. Close out the mod store, go back to your modules tab, install extra modules. Make sure you put a check mark next to RetroArch Neo if you haven't installed that already, and then one next to RPG Maker, the Easy RPG Core. Hit the OK button and you'll have a bar appear on your screen. Once it's filled in all the way, it means that this core is installed to your system and ready to be used. As for adding the games, you want the INI files. Also make sure that this compress box is not checked. These games will not work compressed. Let's go to add more games. We're going to navigate to the folder where our game files are. Most of the time you're looking for the RPG underscore RT dot INI file. This is the file you're adding to HackG. So highlight it, hit open. It'll be added to the top of your game list. Right click it, show in Windows Explorer. Here's your CLV folder with your INI file. Now you're going to navigate back to the original folder where you got this INI file. You want to hold down control and hit the A key. That'll highlight everything in this folder. Hold control again and click on the INI file one more time. Right click any of these files, go to copy. Hit the back button until you get back to your CLV folder. Right click and paste. So as you can see here, we now have a lot of files in our CLV game folder. You can close that out. The next step is to change the command line. You see right here where it says slash bin slash INI. Take out the INI and type in Easy RPG, just like this. Last step is to hit this synchronize button right here if you're using internal storage or the export games button if you're using a flash drive that will move the files from your PC to your system. So off is an RPG Maker 2003 game and I found this frog game which is RPG Maker 2000. Let's take a look at these real quick. All right, so let's take a look at this frog game. Um, I should mention that save states and suspend points will not work with these games, but in-game saves will. So as you saw there a minute ago, easy RPG. If you exit game within the game, you will be taken to the RetroArch menu, not the SNES or SNES Classic menu. So to get back, you have to do the shortcut, holding down a select or whatever your shortcut is. This is frog. And a fish. There's a jewel. And a chicken. Well, the chicken chicken took our jewel. Okay. Oh, there's a slime. Let's talk to the slime. Yes. Oh, we're fighting now. Never mind. We gotta fight some slimes. Okay, so the fish and the frog are fighting the slimes. Oh, skeletons. Let's go talk to the skeleton. It hurts. And another fight. Okay. Let's see some skills. We have ice. Okay, how about the fish? Golden light can heal. How about some water? There you go. Oh, we got one. Well, that was just silly. Let's look at Off, which is an excellent game if you've never played it. This is probably my favorite RPG Maker game ever. All right, so we are the batter. We're in Zone Zero. This, the, the aesthetic and the visuals in this game, everything about this game is just amazing. And anyone who is a fan of RPGs should do themselves a favor and play it. I'm not joking. Gonna grab some items here. We got a luck ticket. So this core is still in its, you know, very early stages. So you'll see a little bit of graphical glitches. Let's solve this puzzle real quick. There we go. So like when we transfer to this next screen, you see a little flicker. That's just because of the screen transition this game uses. Not all games will have that flicker. Oh, the cat got its food. Perfect. Good job. We're gonna return to the nothingness. Oh boy. Set to a uh, zone one. Creepy cutscenes. 
Show yourselves corrupted children. Prepare yourselves to suffer my judgment. He doesn't care. You can't scare the batter. So all the games that I've tested so far have been completely playable. This is an excellent core. It's working really good. So there you go, RPG Maker Core for the classic systems. Once again, I want to thank Gabri and Swingflip for all the work they've put into getting this running. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.